So what we're doing today is we've had this frame built, so it needs staining to give it a colour. I'm just matching up the colour now. The legs are a different colour to this wood here, so I'm just staining them up to make them darker. We're doing this to give it a nice finish, make it uniform before we start French polishing it, which will give it a really nice finish. I've got what's called a fad here, which is a bit of a um, bit of cotton wadding in with a bit of calico. You dip it in, make sure you don't have too much excess, and then just slowly rub it in. And this is all the show wood as well, so once it's upholstered, you, you'll see these bits. We're not doing these ones because you know, they'll be covered over. Since we saw each other last, we filled in the grey with the plaster of Paris, taken that off, and then over the last few weeks, I've started giving it little layers of button polish. So going over very thin layers at a time. French polishing does take a long time because what you've got to do is put on each layer. So very, very thinly and it's all about building it up. And it's building up layer after layer and that's why you get the very smooth finish and the mirror finish that we really want. Any furniture that has French polishing means it's quite, quite good quality furniture. So back in the 1930s on the Queen Mary, this would have been in one of the, the better off lounges. You know, it's not just the chairs, the tables would have all been French polished. The pianos would have been French polished. Um, there was a lot of call for French polishers back then. But it just, it gives you an absolutely beautiful finish. And then, um, you know, you can see the quality already on this and we're not even finished yet. 